Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving equations. This is the last video on this topic. There's three other videos, so if you've not watched those yet, I recommend you watch those first. Here we're going to deal with equations where there are squares and square roots. So in this first example, we have 5x squared uh, equals 320. Now we want to get x on its own here, so the first step is to divide both sides by 5. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 5, we get x squared on the left, and 320 divided by 5 is 64. So the next step then is to square root both sides. So when we square root x squared, we get x, and when we square root 64, uh, we get two terms. We get minus 8, and we get plus 8, or just 8 uh, for short. Now why is that? Well, if you square minus 8, so minus 8 times minus 8, put these in brackets, uh, the two minus signs cancel, so you end up with a positive, uh, so you get positive 64. So therefore the square root of 64 can either be minus 8 or plus 8, so whenever you have a term with a squared term in it, or sorry, an equation with a squared term in it, you're always going to get two solutions uh, for that term. So moving on to the second example then, this time we have 3 root x equals 15. So let's rewrite this here, 3 root x equals 15. So our first step here uh, is going to be to divide both sides by 3 to get root x on its own. So if we divide by 3, as I say, we get root x on the left hand side, and then the right hand side is 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So this is the square root of x. To remove a square root, we have to square it. Uh, so we get x on its own. So what we're doing here uh, is we're squaring. Uh, so x on its own is equal to 5 squared. So x equals 25. So that's our final answer. Solving equations is one of the most fundamental topics, so it's important that you get loads of practice in before your exam. You can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked, so you get feedback straight away, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exams. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below. It will take you straight there.